what is up everybody welcome back to the freaking channel this right here you guys i'm telling you i am telling you this is it is how you do it man this is how to capture leads on social media um and what i mean and what i mean by on social media through paid traffic right through your actual advertising you're either freaking here here's the deal dude you're either going facebook live every single day and the people that you're actually exposing yourself to are actually interested in what the hell you're offering right let's say for example your friends on your on your personal facebook page or or or, or the people who are following you on your personal instagram okay let's start there what everybody does going lives on on these these two specific platforms for example right the deal is is that those people chances are that's on let me use a real estate agent as, as an example a real estate agent local business owner just like everyone else right they're licensed for that specific state they can only do business in that state and 10 out of 10 of them nine out of ten of them let's just say nine out of ten if you're a real estate agent and you're that one out of ten okay cool whatever but nine out of 10 practice in their backyard. They farm a few zip codes. They focus on branding themselves in their local community. They're, they're, they're building their business on referrals and word of mouth. Um, and or they're spending a ton of money on outside marketing that just isn't, isn't doing it for them at all anymore, right? And it's like, they're exposing their business. They're going Facebook live. They're going, they're going Instagram live and 95, I know it's 99%, but I'll be a little conservative and I'll say 95, 95% of the people who are on your personal Facebook page live across the country. Fact, look at all your friends. You got 3,700 friends on Facebook on your personal page. Okay, cool. 95% of them are all across the country. Um, on your Instagram, people who are following you, 95% of your followers live across the country. So to a local business owner, it's like, dude, you're posting stuff on your personal Facebook on your, and, 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 and let's say you're doing it on your, on your Facebook business page. Okay. And you got 700 likes. Those 700 likes came from you inviting everyone on your personal page to like your business page. When I just got done saying 95% of them live across the country, but you're over here barking like you got, 700 likes and you think you're crushing it hell no you're not crushing it because again what you're doing is you're posting content um where again the majority of, of the people that are seeing it, it it's irrelevant to them that's why when i have when i have facebook when i you know whether it's facebook instagram or or, or linkedin or or twitter it's like dude you're you're throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks and that's what most business owners are doing like even you affiliate marketers, what the hell are you guys doing? But see, when, you're, when it comes to building a nationwide business or a global business, that's where social media comes in, 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 in major, major play. Because now you have the ability to build a personal brand globally. It doesn't matter who the hell is following you because you're an affiliate marketer or you're providing some type of service that, that, that can help the masses, right? When it comes to, let's just say business or whatever. But a local business owner, it's like, dude, 95% of the people following you, they're not coming to your open house this week. They don't care about your open house this week. The house that you have for sale, they don't care because the person that's following you is in Nebraska and you're out there in Arizona posting everything on your personal page and your personal Instagram page and your personal LinkedIn page. Call it personal, call it business, whatever. It's all the same thing. So a local business owner, it's like, dude, this is what every local business owner is doing. But, but again, if you have the type of business where you're, where you're, where you're, where you're, um, 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 I'm open for business to the entire country. That's when social media is your best friend, man. But if you're building a local business, like you have to go pay traffic, you have to be running Facebook ads to a specific area, right? You're a local business owner, local restaurant, local dentist, local chiropractor, local real estate agent, right? You're a local business owner and your ideal client is in your backyard. So how do we do it? How do we get in front of them? How can we entice them? How can we get their attention when their attention is on a million different things on their damn cell phone, right? Like you have to be creative. You have to stand out. And, and, and a lot, what I teach with my social media marketing, you know, clients is I teach the basics. I'm like, dude, all you people are looking for a client like right now. Why don't you try dating before you try throwing me in the back seat? It's like, dude, 
when it comes to a real estate agent, all you care about is a buyer or seller. I tell clients this all the time. I tell, I tell my friends this all the time. I'm like, dude, you're a real estate agent. Because again, when I was a loan officer, right? I was in the mortgage industry for six years. When I was in, in, in the banking industry, it's like, dude, like, what, what can I do to really, to really brand myself or to really freaking put myself out there and really focus on that local community? It's like it had, it had to be some type of form of advertisement. And all I'm saying is that the majority of local business owners are still trying to do something offline or they're trying to do something on social media. But like I just got done telling you, if they are doing it on social media, if you are doing it on social media and you're a real estate agent or you're a local business owner, but the people who, the, the, thir the 3,000 friends that you have on your personal page, right, they don't even live in your area. Unless, unless you're a local celebrity, I tell this to my friends all the time, I'm like, dude, unless you're a celebrity, unless you're the rock, then you could have thousands of people, even, yeah, even hundreds of thousands of people from your local community following you. Like, for example, the rock, he's from Hawaii, or no, not, not Hawaii, he's freaking from Samoa, Samoan, right? Islander, his whole ethnic background, his whole family, his whole freaking growing up, his friends, people he went to school with, right? He came from that area, right? Samoa, isn't that where he was born? Wherever the heck he was born. My point is, is that he's a huge celebrity. So a person like that would have thousands of people from their local community following them. Unless you're that, you got 3,200 friends on your personal Facebook page, right? you're promoting your listing that happens to be three miles away from you, where you live, right? How many of these 3,200 friends on your personal Facebook page live in that area? That's the question. So because we're a local business owner, the only way for me to focus on my local community is to run paid targeted ads. That's it. That's it. There's nothing else to it, man. So if everyone's on social media today, you run your ads to people on social media today. There ain't nothing else to it, man. This ain't rocket science. This is easy. This is simple. And the reason why businesses will pay, pay people like me for it is because they're too, they're too freaking lazy to learn it themselves. When in reality, yes, I get it. People are overwhelmed with their business. Well, guess what? I'm overwhelmed with my business too. We're all business owners. This is basic marketing stuff. Like this is stuff that we have to, if, especially if you're a small business owner, if you're a solopreneur, a real estate agent, it's like, dude, come on. Like you have nothing but time unless you're closing deals every day, unless you're closing deals every, every week. I was, in, I was in an office when I was in the banking industry. We were closing mortgages every day. So imagine how busy that is. So if you're that busy, okay, cool, whatever. But if you're not that busy, you got time. If you're not closing deals every week, let's just say, because that that, that's a good amount of effort, you know, four or five deals a month. Um, that's a good, a good, a, that's somewhat okay. But um, the point is, is that you do have the time. You have the time to go learn some marketing. Like, how do you not, right? And, and so what I want to show you right now, you guys, is, is you have to start learning paid ads or you have to, or again, or you have to, or, or you have to delegate it and, and have someone like me run them for you. But I truly believe that everybody needs to be doing this. Everybody needs to be doing it themselves because it's that simple. And, 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 and investing in your business, investing in the marketing side of your business is everything. There's nothing else to it. Without marketing, without advertising, without bringing new business in, you ain't shit. So when it comes to a real estate agent, for example, or a local business owner, all I'm going to walk you through is some basic, basic way, one basic way. To capture leads on the internet, man, to capture leads on social media, to capture leads of people in your local area, what does it take to get the attention of the person that lives two miles away? They're on Facebook. They're on social media. Let's run some ads to their asses, right? Like, let's, it's, that, it's that basic. But what I'm going to show you here is what you should be using. Shout out to Brenda. Shout out to Go Team Garrison. Shout out to my friends in, in, in Iowa that that have that have the idea they, they they're like dude we got this like we know exactly you know what you're talking about david we know exactly what it's gonna what it's gonna take as far as budget and we're all in and this is this is this is a friend of mine that i help um and and, and i'm going to show you something super basic on how on, on how we're capturing leads in a local area by simply running video ads and targeting that area 
and that area only. I tell my friends now, I'm like, dude, forget about social media. The hell with social media. Because as I just went on a rant in the beginning of this, you guys, that 95% of your 1,700 followers on Instagram live across the country. So if you're a local business owner, like for example, different restaurants that I follow, restaurants nationwide, global, people travel. That's where a lot of their business comes from, right? People, you know, traveling and, and, and food is always a, a necessity. So restaurants can do very well when they're in the right position, but then millions of them fail every year as well. But the point is with that is the fact that I follow a few different restaurants and these are just restaurants that I think down the line that I'll get to. But as far as today, it's like, dude, I follow Kelly Tacos. They're in Los Angeles. It's not like I'm going to be going there anytime soon at all to go have a burrito. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you're focused on just your local area, I tell my friends, I'm like, dude, forget about social media. Run simple Facebook ads to a targeted area. And because you're a local business owner, that's your target, your local area. Like there's nothing else to it, man. So, so, so what I find and what I have found by speaking to thousands of business owners, let's just call it since 2016, since I really started reaching out and, and, and helping these people, right? I've spoken to literally thousands, man. And I'm telling you, most just miss the basics. Most are not even focused on, on consistency on this single one platform by doing this simple one thing to capture leads in their local area where it matters the most local area, man, keywords. Okay. Local area. How do we get the attention? Here's, here's what you want to start doing. Okay. And I'll just take you from the beginning. I'll just take you from the freaking beginning. You're, you're either, you're either learning Facebook ads, you're either learning Instagram ads or you're learning YouTube ads. Okay. What I would suggest is starting with Facebook, start with Facebook because Facebook is Instagram. When you're, when you're running, you know, paid traffic on, on, on either one, it's through Facebook. It's all through the ads manager, whether you're running one for Facebook and then, a, and then a separate one for Instagram, that's what I would do. You know, don't combine them, you know, cause especially for Instagram, it, the image is a different spec. The video is a different spec. So run them indiv individually separately. Right. Um, but it's the same thing. You, you gotta be focused on, on one of these platforms, man, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And here's the basic, the basic, basic, um, um, way it's going to, it's going to look out. Here's the basic process, man. That, and again, as I, as, I don't know if you, I mean, yeah, as you probably caught in, in previous videos, I talk about posting that image, posting that whatever, let's go to, the, let's go to Grammarly. The image, the text, if you've caught any of my previous videos, I talk about posting that on the business page first, public, let everyone see it. It goes there first. And then you come back to the ads manager and set the actual ad, right? But here's, here's what it is. The text, the image, the learn more, Okay. What, what, what I'm saying you guys need to be doing in 2020 and beyond is running simple Facebook ads and getting people to download something. So whatever business, whatever, whatever, whatever audience you're, you're bringing value to and, and offering your services to, you're a real estate agent, you're a restaurant, you're a dentist, you're a local dentist, right? You're a local chiropractor, whatever your business is, man, put some value down on paper and turn it into a simple PDF that looks like this. Look at this, man. Shout out to Brenda and Jeff, and Jeff out there in, in Iowa, crushing it with their real estate business. And, and, and this, is, this is what we use to capture leads. They're focused on buyers. So what they put together, together, is, a, put, what they put together is a simple buyer's guide. It's freaking, um, let's see how many, it is, um, it's just a few pages. It's just, I, I think it's like eight pages. It's like super, yeah, it's like a few pages, man. But a quick intro of who, of who they are and just powerful jam-packed information, man. Information on moving. And it's, and, it, and it's their tips, right? Their strategies, their freaking, you know, perspective and approach to it. You know, they're educating their audience, man. They're giving some value and they're doing it in a simple PDF that looks all pretty right? People all day in a local area. And again, man, what are you going to do? What else are you going to do? You're a real estate agent. I'm telling you, you guys are posting stuff like this on your personal page and on your business page where you have 400 likes and 99% of them live across the country or you're posting on LinkedIn, right? And it's like, dude, all the people that are connected with you, they all live across the country. 
And, and, and a lot of times they're all realtors. They're all people that do what you do. So it's like, dude, you start targeting a local area and getting people in your local area to start downloading your, your content. And, 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 and what are we doing? We're bringing them to a simple page. Let me, um, let me show you if it's in this account. This is a different account, but yeah, perfect. So taking them to a page like this, this is, this is one page. I'll sh I still have to import over the main one, but this is, this is an example. Driving traffic, running Facebook and Instagram ads directly to your local backyard to get people to a page like this where we're giving them something of value. What are we giving them? In this case, we're giving them a list of homes in that price range. How easy is it for you to run a Facebook ad, right? Get me to click learn more. I come to a page like this. I'm in your local area. I'm looking for property. I'm either an investor or I'm looking for a second home or I'm looking for my family and I are looking for our first home. And you happen to be living five miles away from me. And I keep seeing your ad in my newsfeed because you're not doing some boring image ad like this. You're actually on video. That's what I coach on. I tell my clients, I'm like, dude, you need to freaking pull out your cell phone and you need to go selfie style on video and you need to start putting together four to five minute videos educating your audience. And in this case with Brenda, um, they're educating their local audience on the process of buying in hopes of getting people's contact information, building a relationship, getting people in our local area to know, like, and trust us because we're running video ads. We're running video ads. Let me show you. Um, we're running video ads, you guys. And, and, and targeting a local area. This, that's the whole point of this video, man. The whole point of this video is to, is, to, is to encourage you guys to start learning this basic stuff and start running video ads to your local area. This one's going on right now. We've got over 3,000 people to, to view it that live in her local area. That's what I'm saying. 99% of business owners, whether you're a realtor or someone else, you guys are Mickey Mouse in it. You're posting your stuff on social media organically because it's free. Yeah, right. That ain't free. It's costing you, man. It's costing you deals per week because you're Mickey Mouse in it. You know, you, you need to be saying, okay, Dave, th this stuff makes sense. I need to start running Facebook ads to my local area. Forget about social media. Any post that I put out from this point on is going to be a simple video. And, 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 and you're telling yourself, I'm going to do one per week. And at the same time, I'm going to run the ad. And, and, and when they click on my learn more, when they click on my learn more, I'm going to bring them to one page like this, and I'm going to give something of value. I'm going to give them a list of homes. I'm going to put them on an email list. I'm going to nurture that list through an email autoresponder. My email autoresponder is going to be set up where I have 10 emails that are already pre-written, and they're going to go out over the next few days to the person who just opted in. Either I take them to a page like that, or I take them to the page like 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 this giving them giving them a seller guide giving them a buyer guide if you're a restaurant you're giving me a free coupon you're not taking me to your website you're taking me to one page where you can get me to download my free coupon if you're a dentist how easy is it man to target your local area that's where all your clients are from if you're a dentist you got a facebook personal page you got a linkedin you got an instagram you have a facebook business page 99% of the people who follow you live across the country, unless you're a hardcore celebrity and you're probably, you maybe been, been a dentist in that area for 45 years and, and you got a team, you have a team of younger people that are actually up on social media and they're probably posting for you all over the place. But at the same time, what I'm telling you is that chances are the majority of the people who follow you live across the country, but you're a local business owner. It's like, dude, you start running targeted ads. Facebook video is what I'm saying, man. We're over here crushing these videos, okay? We're just getting started. We are just getting started. And so our whole thing is to drive them to a landing page where, they, where, where we can give them something of value. And all I'm saying is that in this case, it's this simple PDF, you know, and, 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 and you can easily, let's say, for example, whatever your business is, man, that's what I'm saying. What can you provide a value to, and, and what can we put in writing? Like, and, 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 and I'm telling you, 
10 out of 10 times, you want it to be like this. You want it to be some type of PDF. You want it to be a digital download. I don't want to have to physically mail you anything. Like, no, I don't want to pay for shipping and handling. No, this is, we're, we're now in a digital world. Take your knowledge, put it down in some type of PDF or even a training video. Get me to opt in to watch your free training video where on the video, you're telling me, you're teaching me things that I, that I may not have known, or you're just telling me about your profession and what you guys provide. And you're just putting your, your, your perspective on it. Some type of video, some type of webinar, some type of free training is what it's all about. So I'm either going to visually see your training and, 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 um, yeah, or, or, or you're going to, you're going to offer me something physical that I can actually download, but you're, but the way you're going to do it is you're going to do it in a digital format, right? So this right here, man, is just providing value to an, to, to a specific targeted audience of people who are interested in what the heck you're selling. Right. And then at the, at, and then on the back end, you're getting these people to opt in. They're coming to a page like that, right? They're coming to a page like this. Get my 10 tips here. Name, email, send me your 10 tips. And boom, that email autoresponder automatically emails them the digital copy, right? They get this digital copy and boom, they're now on your email list. And so now you get to nurture that list. You get to build hundreds of people on, a, on, a, on an email list by giving value, by giving them something like this that they have to put their name and email on. A free download, man. And, if, and I'm just convinced that no matter what type of business you have, you have some type of brochure or you should, or you should have some type of, you know, coupon. If you're a, a, a retail store, you know, it's so simple and you're just driving a man, you're driving them to a simple page where, where, and, and these pay, the, the landing page and my email autoresponder is all through Kartra. So I, I, I manage everything through this platform over here. There's a link in the description, profit with online. This is a 14 day trial. And what I do is I simply just, just, clients that I bring aboard. So this is a social media client that I actually brought aboard. I'm going to really be helping her and we're going to, we're, we're just getting started, but I already, I already had these funnels, you know, available to just simply import. Once she set up the 14 day trial, I imported these funnels into her account right away. And, and now I'm going to just, you know, simply be helping her, but driving traffic to a, to a page and getting people to opt in. You guys, here's another one. Um, this is for like, Tons of real estate agents. That's what I'm saying, man. Those of you, like every single one of you, man, that is, um, that is, that is watching this video. Do you have a personal Instagram or you have a personal Facebook page? I'm telling you, majority of you guys have a real estate agent on that page. And do you not see them just posting their listing? like all the time, like, or, or an open house, or they're talking about their business in somehow, some way, let's just talk about a real estate agent for now. And then, and, then, and then they'll post their listing when they live in Tennessee, but 95% of the friends live across the country. Like that's what we see all damn day. And so again, imagine running an ad, taking that same post, same exact post, man, but just targeting that local area where the house is actually being listed at. Like target the, the location of where that house is, 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 is listed at. And, 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 and get people to a single page. So you'll be running, you know, Facebook ads in people's news feeds or Instagram ads. Look, man, look, 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 this is what I'm talking about. Carrie, shout out to Carrie. But I'm telling you, dude, she lives in, I'm, look, I'm a friend with her on Facebook. That's why I'm seeing it. But let's, let, uh, I'm telling you, man, every single one of you that's watching this video, look at your personal pages. How many friends do you have? 95% of them live across the country. So in her case, she's in Florida. I'm in California, but she's telling us about her open house. And it don't matter how many friends she has over here. She, she, she has them private. It doesn't matter how many friends she has over here. 95% of them live across the country. So again, rather than doing that and crushing and, and just killing yourself in 2020, this should be running to this city and that city only. Like, of course you can post it here, but here's my problem. Here's why I'm talking so much smack is because that's what 100% she's relying on when it comes to social media. She's thinking that she's building her business on social media when that ain't doing nothing for her at all. And I, I understand getting as much exposure, of course, of course. But at the same time, why not spend the hundred bucks 
and target that to that area and get tons of people to see it. We're talking thousands. Why not go out to the property? Here's what I would suggest. And again, this applies to any business, man. In this case with this real estate agent, how easy would it be to go out to the property for her to, you know, to go out to the property? That's her listing. How easy is it for her to go out to the property, pull out her cell phone and do a simple walkthrough? Hey guys, this is Carrie. I'm fired up. Just wanted to kind of tell you what was going on with this particular property. This property is at 6143 Chester Drive in Cantonment. And, and, and we're having an open house this Sunday. I wanted to kind of just give you a walkthrough and, 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 and give you a good vision of what this property looks like and what it could possibly be. It's a three bedroom, two bath. These people are super motivated to sell. They have to move, blah, blah. It's like, dude, how simple is that? Like, think about it, dude. How simple is that? I don't care what kind of business you have. You're a dentist. Do the same damn thing. Start putting yourself out. You want to personal brand yourself? There's personal branding at its finest. But now, instead of just throwing spaghetti against the wall to the 95% of the people who don't care, rather than doing that, dude, you're targeting that area, running this as a Facebook ad to hundreds of thousands, or let's just say tens of thousands of people in that area. And when they click learn more, they're coming to this page right here get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. A few bullet points, a few bullet points, schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins, view all 17 photos now. That person, I then capture that lead. That person is now in my CRM, AKA my email autoresponder. And that email is gonna be getting information over the next few days. And I'm gonna stay top of mind. And, 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 and this is a person that happens to live three miles away from me. It's like, dude, that was worth the 50 bucks. That was worth the hundred bucks. That was worth it. That's why I'm saying, that's why I tell my, especially real estate agents. I'm like, dude, you're only two expenses in 2020. I want you to cut everything you're doing. But if it's working, I guess keep doing what you're doing. But I'm just convinced that most isn't working. And it's super expensive for a local business owner, real estate agent or dentist. It don't matter. It's super expensive for them to market offline. And that's what they all do. So that's why I'm just like telling you, I'm like, dude, at a fraction of what you're putting out over there offline, what you can do this way by running simple ads to your local area, driving them to a landing page and capturing the email. Like, can you imagine having thousands of people's emails that opted into your pages, whether it was regarding a listing, whether it was regarding giving away a free seller guide, or in this case with, with Brenda and Jeff, they're giving out a free buyer guide right? This is, this is, this is how, you know, they're, they're educating their audience. And, and again, man, that's how you capture the lead. You're, you're, you're driving them to a page like this, or you're driving them to a page like this. And people are opting in because they want that list. They're opting in because they want that coupon. You're a dentist. They're opting in because they want that coupon on that, on that free teeth, white cleaning thing that you got going on, right? Like they want that benefit. They want that value. They, they want that information. And, and when you can give it away, when you can give away something of value, a coupon, a brochure, a free training, a webinar, whatever, a free coupon of something, a free, a free book, a free book. I'm telling you, man, if you're a real estate agent or if you're any other type of business owner and, and you're like, dang, David, that looks really cool, but I can't do nothing like that. I, I, I have all the information. You, here's the fact. The fact is, is that you have all the information, but you might be looking at, at this and be like, damn, dude, I can't do that. Like they put together a nice book, right? Like I ain't no damn, you know, publisher, right? You're probably thinking that dude, you can easily go to this site right here. There's a link in the description on your first order. You get some kind of discount. I don't know exactly what the percentage is. It used to be 20. It, I don't know if it's still 20, but you get some kind of discount. The link is in, the, is, in the, is in the description, but you can easily come here, man. Easily come here and put and, and type in ghost writer. A ghost writer, you can simply reach out for 25 bucks. It ranges, right? Five bucks, 10 bucks. I would come over here and I'd spend, look, 50 bucks. Here's what I would do. You come to budget and then you're going to go five to 50. Remember this right here, the reason why this is so important is because this is how you're capturing leads. You're running Facebook ads and, the, and in your video, for example, 
there's a call to action. There's a call to action in every video to get that person to do something, to get that person to take the next step. There's a call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, don't forget to click learn more. This is a Facebook ad, right? Don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can get your free download of our 2020 buyer guide that teaches you the top 10 tips on what you need to prepare for when buying your next home. And, and boom, they click on learn more. And again, they're taken to one page where they can download it, right? This right here, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. And in your videos, I'm saying do one a week. Do one a, one a week. Spend a few bucks and, 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 and start personal branding yourself in your local area. And the whole objective is to capture a lead by giving them something for free. And so 10 simple tips. You can literally come over to this website, man. Reach out to a ghostwriter. Um, let me just go to, the, let, me, let me open this up on a different browser. You can reach out to one of these ghostwriters, dude. And you could be like, hey, here's my budget. And here's what I'm looking for someone to help me with. Like, you could be like, okay, I'm a real estate agent. I am looking for someone to give me 10 tips on increasing the value of, a, of, a, a, of, of my property before deciding to sell it. Like, that's what this page is over here. Look, 10 tips, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. And what we're doing with this one is getting people who are thinking about selling that happen to live 10 miles, six miles, two miles, one mile away from us. And, 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 and what is enticing them is the fact that we're giving them something for free. Okay. That's the value. That is what we call the bait. That's why dude, to put something like this together, this is their bait. Now in every video, now this becomes a call to action. They're focused on one thing, buyers, right? That's what you want to do. Focus on the main product. If, if you're any other type of business owner, focus on the main product. What is your main service? What's that main one? Let's, let's advertise and, and, and build all of our content. Again, recommended content is video right? It's the only reason why you guys are here with me today. It's the only reason why you guys are watching me on YouTube today, YouTube today, because of video. If I was writing this shit in a blog, none of you guys would be reading it, right? That's how crazy it is, man. So in all of this content that you start to put out, I'm telling you, forget about social media, narrow it in, spend a few bucks to target the local area. And everything evolves around this. This is now the bait. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Over here, I would spend, I would spend 50 bucks. Actually, let me pull it up on, on my other browser. I would spend, I would spend the 50 bucks and come over here. Let's type it in over here. Okay, ghost writer. This right here is super, super powerful, man. And I don't and 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 I don't think a lot of you guys really even, you know implement this but this is how you want to capture leads this is how you can capture leads this is not the only way but it's damn near the best way it's how most people capture lead on the internet you know is they freaking give something of value they give you know in order to receive man and so if i come over here and i type in five let's just say five to fifty bucks five to fifty bucks I will ghostwrite, rewrite, and edit your German. Okay, I will exceptionally write. Okay, I will be your native German. Okay, I will ghostwrite. I will ghostwrite. I will ghostwrite an amazing 20-page long book for you. Look at that. Five-star, 39 reviews, 45 bucks. I will ghostwrite your short stories or novel. I will be your ghostwriter. Um, I will ghostwrite. I will ghostwrite self-help book. That's 150. We don't want 150. I thought I put – actually – Actually, I put over five. Okay, let's do. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so look at this now. Now we're only in, 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 the, in the five to $50. I will ghostwrite for you, and I am a published author. Five stars, two reviews. I look for the reviews. So I'll look for like at least a 4.9, like this one right here, 4.9, but 21. I will ghostwrite your fiction or nonfiction book. 30 bucks, 30 bucks. I'm telling you, man, I would spend about 50 bucks. I'd hire someone and maybe get them to, to write five to 10 pages or whatever it may be, 50 bucks, whatever. And then I would take that and I would use that as a template and I would write around it. And I would, because they're going to send you back the Word document and, and, and you, you, can, you can obviously, you know, edit, put, put some pictures in it. Now, I don't think that's what they did, but someone put this together for them, obviously. This is, I didn't put this together for them, but someone on Fiverr, for example, could have easily 
put this together for them for, for, for let's just say 45 bucks, 45 bucks. And this whole entire thing would look super legit. And this is your bait. Okay. This is your bait. Here's what I'm going to show you real quick. And, and there's a link. See if you can get a discount through, through Fiverr. And, and again, it, you, either, you either reach out to someone that has some type of, like if you're a real estate agent, reach out to your broker and say, hey, bro, do you, know, do you have a buyer guide or a seller guide? Do you have any kind of PDF that I can brand myself around and I can start giving it out as, as bait, right, to start capturing leads? This is how you do it, man. This is how you do it. So forget about what your social media marketing coach is telling you. They're all, they all have it twisted. They're all lost. It's like, dude, we're a local business owner. How do we get the attention of our local area? You give them something and you target them through social media paid advertising. That's it, man. And so here's a great source where you can put something together. If you're in any other type of industry, you could put something together right here. Um, um, and you want to be driving them to a landing page just like this. Okay. So this is a system that I use profit with dot online. There's a 14 day trial, but this is what I was going to show you is that, we have that PDF now, right? So let me, let me just close it out. And simple, this is a simple tip guide, man. That's what I'm saying. On Fiverr, you can easily tell them, say, hey, man, I am a real estate agent. I help people buy homes. Can you help me put together some type of tip sheet or some type of benefits you know, package where we can really educate them on that process? Maybe, maybe we could teach people how, to, how, how they can fix their credit, how they can raise their, their FICO score, how they can save for a better down payment. So, they, so we could start teaching them about, about what, what it's going to take to get a good mortgage and, and who... who and, and why it's important to be pre-approved before they start the home buying search, right? You're, you're educating your audience, man. And I'm just, I'm just telling you, all of you guys that have some type of business, what are the benefits of your products or service? Talk about that and put it in something like this. And Fiverr, they can do a lot for you, man. And, and once, once, once you get it back, then you can edit it. Like, right? Like have them put together a few pages. That's a template. That's worth 40 bucks. That's worth 25 bucks. That's worth 50 bucks. And, and I just believe it could be worth a hundred bucks, depending on how many pages they're going to write for you. Because if I can just give you my thoughts and if I could just give you the topic and you're a ghostwriter and I could, I could, I could, I could pay you a hundred bucks and you'll put together something super legit like this. Like, dude, why, how's that not worth it? Like, you know what I mean? Like you got to be crazy because I'm telling you, this is what it takes to capture a lead. Start giving away something. Right. And, and, and again, because, and, and again, if you take that concept and you go try to post your link, okay. now all of a sudden you got a page right here and, and you post that link on your social media. Cause that's what your coach is telling you to do. You got to post on social media. You got to post every day. Right. That's what all these freaking bozos are telling you. Right. You could take this link and go post it, but everyone's across the country and no one cares. So again, you're going to be running paid ads, man, to this page right here. So all the landing page, the entire email autoresponder, and how I host the actual PDF. Okay, so now that we have the PDF, let me close it so I can save it. Now that we have the PDF, I'm going to bring it over here to Kartra. I'm going to click on my memberships. And right here at the top, I'm going to upload the file that's the pdf and and what i'm going to do with, there's a few different things i can do with the file now i have the link so so i could put the, the i'm going to put the link in the email i could do it that way or i could put that link on a thank you page so for example they come over here they opt in they're taken to a thank you page i could put the link right there but what i normally do is i email it i put it in the email so here's what i'm going to show you so now, now, now through Fiverr, we got some type of, you know, template. Now we can build around it, right? That's what I would do, man. Get, get them to put together a template for you, put a few pages down and then just build around it, man. Take, take, take what they wrote, take what you already know. You should be super knowledgeable in your industry, man. Right. And, and, and now that we want to start targeting through video marketing, targeting our local area, it's time to really stand out and it's time to give in, 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 in hopes of, of receiving. And again, what are we receiving? Their name and email. Because again, once I have that name and email, I'm going to nurture that list. I'm going to make sure you hear from me all the time. I'm going to be emailing you. In this case, I'm going to be emailing you more listings until you reply back and say, hey, I found something. Or until you reply back and say, hey, I'm willing to sell. You know what I mean? And this is how you really, 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 really become a local celebrity, man. And in real estate, 
that is all you're shooting for. But you guys are trying to still Mickey Mouse it and do stuff offline when the majority of you can't even afford to do offline marketing. But that's what your broker is still, still preaching, right? Newspaper ad, radio ad, TV commercial, billboard, bus bench, cold call, door knock. Like you can't even get printed flyers, you know, at a decent price nowadays. Like you go to Kinko's or you go to FedEx, you know, out here they have like a FedEx Kinko's. It's like a print shop, been there forever, right? Big brand. It's like, dude, it's like a dollar. It's like a dollar, like, like 20 per copy. It's like, dude, how much is it going to cost you to freaking print a hundred copies? Like, and, and then, and then I got to hire someone to go pass them all out or I got to do it myself. Everything you're doing, man, I'm telling you, local local give 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 people come here they opt in and then and then where i'm going to put that file is right here on kartra so we're going to put it in manage categories we're going to we're going to start a category that's going to be buyers buyer yeah let's just go with buyers um add so this is where i host the file okay so now it's going to ask me to drop down there's the category i'm going to upload file and then there's the file right there and now now it's hosted on kartra so all i'm going to do is i'm going to click on next and depending on how long how big the file is right then that you know obviously is all is is you know determines how long it takes but once that file is on right this could take a couple minutes so i don't want to bore you with this one i'll pretty much just end it here but as, as that file comes over, I'll now have a link. So that link is what I put in the email. So when they opt in, they're opting in regarding a listing, right? They're coming over here wanting to see what this listing is all about. You had it promoted on Facebook. It's someone that lives a few miles away from the property. They come here, they opt in, right? Or whether it's this one, whether it's this one, whatever they do, they opt in. They're going to get an email right away with this link right? Let's, let's say if it's for this case, like, right, whatever it may be. But in this case, if it's, if it's, if it's, if, if you're having, if you're using some kind of bait in the form of a PDF, that's what, that's where this link would be. So that link would be right here. You copy it and you could put it in the email. You could put it on, on a thank you page. They opt in, boom, they go to a thank you page, click here to download now. And then boom, they click the link and that PDF is downloaded instantly. What I like to do again is I like to put it in the email. That because that forces them to go look at the email. That forces I, I start to train them on day one to check for my email. There's psychology behind that. It's crazy. And so I'll email them the link in this case, some type of coupon, some type of buyer guide, whatever. So hope that helps you guys. But I use Kartra for everything. So Kartra is going to host the file. Kartra is going to be the email autoresponder, and Kartra is going to be the landing page software. Okay. So. Um, Profitwithkartra.online. There's also a, and that's a 14 day trial. There's also a link for Fiverr for some kind of discount. So if you need to put together any kind of coupon, you need the graphic design, you need the freaking text, whatever, dude, I'm telling you, you can find someone on Fiverr for literally a few bucks, man, literally a few bucks. And then now this becomes your bait. Everything you start to do evolves around this. Okay. Because capturing that name and email in 2020 is everything is everything. Okay. Um, so hopefully that one made sense, you guys. There's a few links right below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm dropping content on what I do. Like this is stuff that I am doing, right? I'm building an agency. Um, I'm scaling it to digital courses. I'm running ads. I'm learning more ads. Like it's a constant, you know, entrepreneurship journey. And all I'm doing is just documenting, you know, stuff that I'm doing. So this, this one's going to be uploaded here in a, few, in a few minutes. And then boom, I'll have that link. And again, I could, I could, I could take it from there. Um, so yeah, I don't want to bore you guys with this one that, that might take cause it's a big file. So it might take, it might take, and it's not going to take that, that long, but shit, it'll probably take maybe three, four minutes, but, um, that's it for now. You guys, I'll see you in the next video over and out. Step your game up, give before you receive over and out.